When I go in, he's gonna move his shoulder. He locks my chin, I can't put my glove in. If I go outside, he locks my arm. Hey guys, it's Steven here, and I'm with D. Cindy Muay Thai. Let's put it up. Let's put it up. You want to go inside, right? So hip inside, you see how I protect? Protect with shoulder, you see? Shoulder come to, you see? He got club, it's very big, you know? Ah, see? Okay, when I go, go. So cannot, go, go up. Then I go up, go up inside. Cannot, right? So if you go outside, you, you push me. Ah, so because I, I, I stay here, right? See? So I have to move, or not. Go inside, outside. Okay, one more time. Inside, outside. So, so D's preventing me from getting inside position. One more. When I go in, he's gonna move his shoulder. He locks my chin, I can't put my glove in. If I go outside, he locks my arm. If I go inside, he can't do nothing. So once he has a strong arm lock, he has control. And he's controlling the other arm. I go inside, he blocks it with the elbow, outside. Now he has a good arm control. So watch this, he's blocking the arm with his elbow. The other side is blocking the arm, outside, inside. But this arm, when he has already a lock around my neck, he's not gonna use his elbow to block. He's just gonna push his chin against me. He can, he can use the elbow, he can use the elbow. Also, but he loses his position when he does that. So if he, if he used the elbow, instead of that, he can just push his shoulder towards me and that prevents me from getting it. Because if he, if he, in this position, if he uses the elbow, he's gonna lose his grip around my head. He still blocks me, but he doesn't have a grip around my head anymore. And if I go on the outside, he's gonna wrap the arm. So this maintains his positioning in the clinch. Same thing on the side. Here, he has, he has the position in the clinch. I'm gonna try and get inside. He pushes the elbow towards my face. I can't get in. I'm gonna go on the outside, he locks my arm. If he just stays here, if he just stays here, I'm just gonna push his face away and then me. So he has to be active on defense when he has his arm wrapped around me. I'm gonna go here, he's gonna block. I'm gonna go inside, gonna go here, go inside. Lock the chin. Well, because if he doesn't move, if he stays here, I'm just gonna push his head away, stiff arming his face. So if I try that, he wraps his arm around, so I can't do that. And that's another defense when you have positioning in the clinch. Instead of using your elbow, you can block with your chin. I do to you. He's gonna. You lock me. So I have a lock. This one comes to me. Yeah. This one comes to me. So here, I'm gonna push. Pull my arm, block the elbow. See how my shoulder's blocking his glove from going inside. You see how? Yeah. When he tries to move his arm up, I'm blocking. So that way, I continue to maintain positioning in the clinch. So here, blocking with the blocking with the shoulder inside. I notice mm. how I bring my shoulder to him. Mm. He can't move the glove in. And then he tries to go outside. I lock. His other arm is controlling his hand. So the other arm, I still have positioning on him. Here, so in this position, I have more control because I have his arm locked and I have a positioning. You guys enjoyed watching that video? Make sure you guys give the video a like and hit the subscribe button below. If you want to support the channel, check out mtpfightgear.com. So we'll see you in the next video. Limited!